Tell Grandma Liz how fast you ran a mile today. I don't know. You told me. Nine how minutes f- and one second. Yeah. <laughs> and what place did you come in? Third. Third place. Out of how many? Three? <laughs> or 600? How many people there were? Was it just Miss Tushar's class? Yeah. So, like 30. No, not 30. How many no. kids are in your class? So, I don't know how much more. And, uh, oop. The kids had a week off for Thanksgiving. And then, before they were about to go back to school, they both came down with a case of, I don't want to go to school. <laughs> I don't oh, want to go back to school. Yeah, they both had a bad case of that. Yeah. And with Lennox... Everyone in his class did. Lennox had that a lot in the beginning of the year. Oh, yeah. Coming into the beginning of the school year from the summer, yeah, where they'd been doing distance learning for a year and a half. Yeah. Oh. It was Multiple a lot. times a day. I hate school. I don't yeah. want to go to school. I what, hate it. What's the point of school? I don't want to go oh, to yeah. school. What's the point of school? Everything you need to know, you can Google. Yeah. Yeah. Google. That's his main argument for why school is not necessary, because you got Google. That's not a bad argument, honey. Uh, But recently, uh, with Thanksgiving break, uh, Luna was dropping some, I don't want to go back to school. (laughs) And and then you hit him with, do you remember, honey? Yeah. I said, we don't want to go to work, but we got to go to school. We got to go to work. And if we stop, then society will crumble. Or what was my wording? Yeah, it was. It was. It was exactly that. Okay. And then I hit him with uh, something which I can't remember right now. I'm sure it was wise. <laughs> it was so. It was sage. Like sage is more than an herb, honey. I hit him with "Welcome to life." <laughs> Most of the time, it sucks. And every once in a while, you get to have a little fun. But this is it. And uh, oop. Winter Wonderland, honey. It's a song. Uh, most recently, most maybe most recently, famously sung by Michael Bublé. Uh, Walking in a winter wonderland. Yeah, I'm aware. But it's sung. It's been sung by dozens of singers, hundreds in history. Uh, but the lyrics. Uh, I took note of one particular stanza, if you will. Uh, in the meadow, in the meadow, we can build a snowman. Okay, that's that's very quaint. You're in you're in the meadow in the country. You're building a snowman. We'll pretend that he is Parson Brown. I didn't get this reference, honey, oh, but you okay. did. Yeah, Parson so, Brown is. Mm-hmm. Um, a parson is like a member of the clergy. Okay. So they're like, we built a snowman. We could pretend that he's like this religious, like a a clergy member. Like a like a pastor, like Ye, I don't know, like Pastor Marshall Phillips, someone who can marry you. Yeah. Are you being distracted? No, I googled person oh, okay. <laughs> to make sure that I was correct, and I was. Sorry. It's a member of the clergy, especially a Protestant one. Okay. That's what Google says. Okay. And then the next line, he'll say, are you ready? The snowman or parson will say, are you ready? Yes. I have the lyrics. I thought it was, um, he'll say, are you married? Oh, well, this is what Google said. He'll say, Google, which, what did we, oh, which is the reason for a school to not exist. Exactly. Says, he'll say, are you ready? He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no, man. No, man, we ain't married. Is the snowman the asking snowman? Yeah. if you're ready or yeah. married? The snowman is Parson Brown, which this, is a clergy. This is member. very, uh, there's a lot of imagination <laughs> going on. A lot of uh, role playing. Whoever wrote this song was like desperate for some lyrics that rhymed. Right. Um, so the snowman is asking this couple, are you married? And they're like, no, man. The snowman who they, who are <laughs> who they, they on, built. are they on LSD? They're on something. <laughs> and they think, hey, it's Parson Brown. <laughs> uh, he'll say, are you ready? And then we'll say no, man. Yeah. So Michael Buble and his paramour yeah, are saying, yeah, yeah. nah, but, man. 
Nah, man, we ain't married. <laughs> we, we ain't we ain't hitched. <laughs> we're we're just having a good time, man. We're we're not ready to commit. Uh, but then Michael Bublé continues to go on, and his next line is. But you can do the job when you're in town. So is again, is the snowman what is he just passing through? And next time you're in town, you're gonna marry me to uh, my lady friend. Right now, right here, while this and uh, oop. microwave ovens. I have two things to say about them. We all have them in our kitchen. Uh, first of all, are there kitchens with two microwave ovens? Because like, I watch Architectural Digest on YouTube. You do? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that, remember we watched the Aaron Paul tour oh, of his home? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You see his these house is, wow. Immaculate in Wyoming, whatever. But, like, you see these celebrities with their giant uh, mansions and their uh, over-indulgent uh, <laughs> kitchens. Uh, and they have, like, six to eight burners on the stove. They have two fridges. They have an extra freezer in the garage, which we'll have someday. Uh, but my thing is, two microwaves would be super helpful. You know that there's some nights when the majority of my dinner cooking is microwave. Yeah. Not not often, but once in a while. Yeah. It's like I have eight things that need to be microwaves. Right. So by the time you're done with the first half, and then you're microwaving the second half, Everything is cold that you've done already. Right. It's a horrible way to cook a, fam- a meal for a family of four. Yeah. But sometimes I do it and I got to do it. Yeah. I would it, love to have two microwaves. It becomes uh, like a, a, a backlog or a traffic jam at our one microwave. And so I see like um, Adam Levine, Maroon 5 singer, uh, and, he, and he's got like eight burners on the stove. But I'm like... Do you have two microwaves, bro? Do you have three? <laughs> My mom has two ovens, and that was a selling point. Oh, yeah. A double oven. That's a thing I've seen, but not a double microwave. Right. A double oven, very handy on Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yeah. But if you have two microwaves, I think that's... Do people not think about it, or is it just our microwaves, they're seen like kind of shabby and low rent, like, oh, you're microwaving popcorn or whatever. Um so people don't think of it as a necessity. But if we had two microwaves, because it becomes the long jam. So we like uh, mashed cauliflower. And it takes, uh, I think the first session is four minutes. And, and the then second, you got to whip it, it around. It, you got to stir it. It's a total of seven minutes. Right. To make one, and we each are having one. So yeah. that's a total of 14 minutes just for each of us to have a side veggie on our plate. Right. And then we usually have frozen veggies. Um, We're big on the frozen veggies. And then Lennox Albert uh, has uh, chimichanga. Or hot dog. Luna has like heated up, oh, like heated up rice or um, like leftover mac and cheese. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think having two microwaves, these celebrities out here with their uh, their, uh, two, three sub zero uh, refrigerators, and it becomes like that's uh, luxurious or. Or a sign that you made it. Show me you got two microwaves. Show me you got three microwaves. <laughs> and I'll be impressed. Yeah. Same. I yeah. mean, I would use that way more than I would use the other stuff. Now, our kitchen, there's not much um, counter space. We have a smallish kitchen. Uh, we, and we have uh, like a knife block right now. We have a coffee maker. We have a toast, a little toast oven. And we have a toaster. Would you be okay with having another microwave on there just to... No. What no. about a temporary? Like we keep the second microwave uh, in the garage <laughs> or in Lennox's <laughs> closet with, There's where, no way. where I put my winter coats. <laughs> There's no way we're lugging it out from any closet space mm. to bring it into the kitchen. Like I can see you already being like, eh, I don't want to move it. Yeah. So you're not moving it for me. It would be very handy, though, to have it. I would If it was built in already to the wall space, cabinetry. Yeah. 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 Cabinet tree. Yeah. Cupboard a tree. Cupboard tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome, but it isn't. There's no space for it, and it ain't happening. Yeah. So. My second thought about microwaves is uh, everything we microwave comes out too hot. Okay. Like, every, like Lennox's <laughs> chimichanga comes out. After 92 seconds, 
and he can't touch it for like 15 minutes. <laughs> and he's already a slow eater. I know. And you talk about our mashed collie. It's super hot. Mm-hmm. We, we can't touch it for a couple minutes. Everything that comes... Microwave uh, frozen vegetables. It's a delicate balance because if you don't do it enough, yeah. then it's frozen and cold. Yeah. But if you do it the exact amount it says to, it's too hot. Yeah. And my idea is that why haven't why haven't they why hasn't Elon Musk come out with a, a cooler? Because like uh, you, you watch these uh, recipes in these cooking videos when they want to cool something, they put it in the fridge. <laughs> that takes forever. Yeah, because you brought this up, and I was like, "Well, that's a freezer." Yeah. And then you said, "No, not a freezer. Like something instantaneous." Yeah, the opposite of a microwave, and it could be its own device. <laughs> or just build the feature into the microwave, like cool down. I wonder. Yeah, and I don't. Hit I don't some know buttons if, uh, and it'll cool down in fifteen seconds or whatever. I don't know if technology is can make a freezer slash microwave in the same device. Yeah. Although fifteen years ago, when I lived in London, yeah, a lot of the little flats in London had a washer, yeah, dryer that yeah. were one machine right so you wash your clothes and then you in the you don't move them you keep them in that same it's machine. in the same compartment because like they're they same, have the washer nope. dryer where like the dryer's on top and the washer's on the bottom it was one little compartment mm-hmm. you put your clothes in mm-hmm. you start the wash it ends you push the button for the dry and it dries and it was crap it oh. didn't work so we always went down the street to the laundromat what was or the laundrette where was the fault in the washing or the drying the drying ah. it wouldn't dry uh, <laughs> so I wonder. Uh, that was obviously uh, not a good, not a good invention. It yeah. needed some some tweaks. Well, but, so uh, like a microwave freezer in one. Yeah. I don't know if that can be done. Well, uh, again, I plead to Elon Musk and Jeff. <laughs> He's too busy going to space. Right. Well, uh, less space and more practicality. Like they enough with they, the electric cars and Jeff Bezos, enough with go also going to space. Like a, a a washer dryer in one, they should already have that, and they should already have <laughs> they should have a microwave that does the opposite of heating up to cool things down. Well, oh, this is super hot! I'll put it okay, in for five seconds. Instead of that, why can't we figure out a way to microwave items to an uh, to a temperature? That it's not too hot and not too cold. Yeah. Because it's right now, oh. it's either burning hot, burning your mouth, yeah. or cold in the center. Like it has a thermometer to some sort of digital thermometer mm-hmm. inside to sense when, when it gets to just the right amount of warmth. Why can't we get it just right? Yeah. How about that? I'm not sure. It's because these billionaires are jerking off in space. <laughs> Lennox is really smart. He is. He he's he's solved two sides of the Rubik's cube. And Lennox Mur- Lennox Murray. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Luna Marie has straight A's. Yes. So between the two kids here, figure it out. Maybe they can figure it out for less, the future. Less uh, TikTok slash Roblox slash Fortnite and more uh, more inventing microwave cooling. Hi okay. son, what's up? The hope of the future right there. Oh, dear. I fear for our future. No, I don't. Actually, Luna's grades, all A pluses and I one know. A. Oh, it was... Right? I think that just changed to an A like today. Ah. I think yesterday or the day before it was an A plus. Oh, what happened? What happened? She said she had a test, brought it down to an A. So she's going to do some extra credit to get it back up to an A+. plus. She's very <laughs> disappointed in herself. She's quite studious. She is. Where did she get that from? And uh, oop. Yeah. Me and you are going to the West Sac Christmas tree, Lennox Albert. <laughs> and uh, oop. So, I mean, yeah. Sorry. No. What's up? I'm eating. <laughs> what you eating? I made a pizza. Oh. It's pesto and cheese. Did you make one for Darling I Daughter? Did. Luna, your pizza's ready if you want it, honey. Okay. Wouldn't it be... Is it too hot right now? Wouldn't it be amazing <laughs> if you could throw it in the microwave for 20 seconds? It, it could is. cool down to the perfect temperature. <laughs> it is too hot. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were at... We were here. <laughs> we were at... 
we were at the club. No, we were here uh, having a weeknight dinner, which is very uh, basic and healthy for us. Um, but we gather and we break bread as a family. It's very uh, important to me that Monday through Thursday, yeah, we all four sit down and, and have dinner together and talk yes. about our days and yes. just connect. Yeah, no and electronics. We, we just talk. We eat. Yeah, and we do that a hundred percent of the time from Monday to Thursday. Um, but conversation came up, and we asked the Wow Chows, darling daughter and darling son, if they wanted to have any friends over, and they were both like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, "Okay," because we thought, "Well, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it us?" Mm-hmm. It's you, not me. What's what's the phrase? It's me, not you. It's me, not you. Is it us, <laughs> not you? Like, are we not cool enough? Are we embarrassing? Is right. our house embarrassing? Are we not handsome enough? Is our house uh, uh, atrocious? Does this not lift enough? Yeah. Do I not lift enough? <laughs> it's just it, get, it gave me a complex. <laughs> um, and then fast forward to a week later. Uh, we had gotten rid of both kids, if you know what I'm saying, honey. Uh, but Darling Daughter was at Grandma Bev's. and No. Uh, no, she was at Olivia's. And, and I went to her friend's house. Lennox yeah. went to Grandma Bev's house. Yeah. So both kids were gone the same night, overnight, different places. Right. And then, uh, so we were going to pick them up, or you were going to pick them up. And uh, you texted Luna, hey, I'm going to pick you up at one. And then Luna's response was, why? With two exclamation points. Yes. <laughs> I was like, okay. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and then uh, maybe 10 minutes later, Lennox Albert called you. And he just said straight out. Well, I said, do you want to stay another night? He said, no. Come pick me up. Well, what I remember is he called up and you answered the phone and he said, I'm staying another night at Grandma's. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. S- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't like, can I stay another night at Grandma's? Or Grandma said I could stay another night. Is that okay? He just came out with the platform. I'm staying another night at Grandma's. And we were like, okay. So That's right. And I'm, I'm thinking of the following day, Monday. Yeah. So he had spent two nights at Grandma's. Yeah. And then I was like, do you want to spend another night? And he said, no. Yeah. I'm ready to go home. I yeah. said, okay. Yeah. But so the first night he's like, I'm staying a second night. Right. Just <laughs> he's already made up his mind. We have no uh, say in the matter. Um, but it, I, well, it was like we were like, OK, do you want to have friends over? No. The week before. And then fast forward to a week and they didn't want to come home. Yeah. <laughs> and they and they, they were on Thanksgiving break. It was on the eve of Thanksgiving break or they, they were on Thanksgiving break. Uh, Monday through Friday they had off. So it wasn't a big deal, but we were just, I was just like, well. So not only do they not want friends here. Right. They themselves want to go away and right. stay away. And don't want to come home. So what are we doing wrong, honey? Right. I I, I don't know. Uh, but then uh, Darling Daughter, Luna Marie, uh, we got her, we wrestled her home eventually. And she was like, I want to have my friends over for a sleepover. And we were like, okay. And so she had a sleepover one week after. Yep. So it was the very quick. The following weekend. Yeah. Yes. And she said, um, uh, she said, and I'm, I'm speaking from her perspective, so I'm speaking first person. So I'm not, the, I'm not the narrator anymore. <laughs> right. I'm not the storyteller. I'm not, I'm not Vince. I'm Luna. But she said uh, something to the effect of, my friends like my house the best. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, she did say that. Yeah. And I don't know if you heard, honey, but on TikTok, they're calling our home the Hype House oh. of West Sacramento. Are they? Yes. Alrighty. Yes, they are. Uh, so we went from kids not wanting to have anyone home to kids not <laughs> wanting to come home to Luna saying, all my friends want to come over. And all, I mean, three of her closest friends uh, wanted to come over. Um, so it was a big deal. Uh Three of her friends coming over uh, to, well, do what teenage girls do, which is create TikTok uh, content, <laughs> which is very important. Uh, but I think you'll agree with me, honey, that uh, like we're on the Instagram and uh, and 
we we put pictures on the Instagram. But and it's one thing when Luna likes our picture on Instagram, yeah. but when Olivia Rivera likes our picture on Instagram, it's like okay, we can we're legit, we're validated, <laughs> we mean something. We both, you and I both follow and are followed by a couple of Luna's friends. Yes. And yeah, it's always like wow, this thirteen-year-old liked our photo. Like that is that is validation right there. Yeah, like we're cool, man. <laughs> we made it. We're the we're the D'Amelios. Like, comment, subscribe. And another thing is we haven't really had people over. We've had your parents over for dinner. Fabulous lasagna and garlic bread. Mm-hmm. I still think about it, honey. But we haven't had uh people over, so and we've had Luna's friends over. They've been over a few times. Yeah. Like, yeah. But for some reason I feel like more settled now or just more like our, our home is more uh like Broken in? Put together. <laughs> yeah. I'm, or lived in or comfy mm-hmm. or cozy. I don't know. But uh, to me, it was a big deal. Uh, and we tried to pawn Lennox off <laughs> to to Ian or or Uncle Cameron. <laughs> you wanted to. And I was like, no, he's staying here. Right. And he, he stayed here and he stayed in his room. And he only came out of his room <laughs> to ask you to uh, purchase something on a video game <laughs> or purchase a game or something. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, when Darling Daughter and her friends left to film TikTok content in the park, he came out to eat. Uh, but he 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 remained holed up in his room. Um, okay. Now, we gave Luna options. And we said, uh, we're just spitballing. You got, we'll, we can take you to downtown Commons, Doco, which is where uh, the Golden One Center is. Yeah. Kings play. The movies are there. There's Boba there. It's yeah. very walkable. Uh, it's like an outdoor mall. Uh, we said you can go to Old Sack, which is very walkable. Um, and these are both super close to us. Um, and she just went to Old Sack like a couple weeks before with some friends. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we said, or you can go get Boba. Uh, there's a Boba place next to Target, which is super close to us. And then we'll drop you off there. You get Boba and then you can walk back. Again, it's not a big deal, but so we gave her three options. <laughs> I burped. I'm sorry, Liz Fisher. <laughs> no, she likes it. You sorry. gotta say sorry. Sorry, excuse me, Liz Fisher. Um, <laughs> and th- those are the three options we gave her: uh, Doco, Old Sack, or Boba next to Target. Uh, but your idea of Doco and or Old Sack was very different. Because my idea was, well, we'll we'll be there. We'll drop them off and we'll hang back. But we won't be following <laughs> them around. Um, we'll, we'll get something to eat. Maybe we'll, at Doco we could go see a movie. There's a bar there and we would have a drink. I mean, we're not going to get wasted. But uh, we could go to Darling Aviary we've been wanting to go to. That yeah. bar right there. Yeah, we have. Um, so my idea of going to Doco or Old Sack was... We're here, we're around, we're, we're, we can be wherever you need us to be in two seconds, but we're not going to uh, <laughs> hang out with you 24-7 and hover over you. <laughs> but your idea was to like be with them the My time, idea right? was to not let them out of my sight. Right. Uh, so that means no going inside an establishment, no yeah. going to a movie. Like I, They could be 100 feet away, but I had to be able to see them. Yeah. And um, clearly that's not a very good plan. <laughs> well, well we, we just had differing views. Uh-huh. Um, and, well, I, I thought too when like my parents would drop me off at the mall with Alex Lord, honey. Mm. And they would drop me and Alex Lord off the mall, off at the mall. And they'd, they'd be like, call us when you want us to pick you up. And it would be two, three, four hours, depending on how much sees candy and how much boardwalk fries uh, we can muster and how we would scam on girls. Mm-hmm. We we never scammed on girls. Oh. Alex was really hairy, but anyways, <laughs> um, but uh, that was my idea. Like, just, like dropping them off at the mall, but we would be closer and we would be doing our own thing. We like, like I said, we could eat, we could see a movie, and even if we were in a movie for two hours, we had our phones. If they were like, come grab us, we're bored, or we need you over here. Okay, we'll be there in two minutes. Not a big deal. Um, 
But you wanted to hover over them and be a helicopter parent, honey. Yeah, I did. Okay. And? <laughs> yeah, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> But you relented, right? You you were like, okay, like you you came to my side because Luna didn't want, because actually, because Luna went to Old Sack just a few weeks earlier with her friends, a different group of friends, and yeah. a mom was there, but she wasn't there there, like on top of that. Yeah, she right? was like there, but like sitting, excuse me, sitting in, like in a coffee shop or right. something. Yeah. So she was nearby, but not like watching them. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh... I'm paranoid, okay? <laughs> I, I get that, but on the other hand, there's four of them, and they're 12, 13. It's a very, like... It's at that... It's hard. It's, it's a delicate it, balance, and with girls. I mean, I'm talking cu- about me and Alex Lord. We're yeah. both guys. It's the cusp. Uh, it's like mm. four 12 to 13-year-olds. Yeah. So they're not... They're kind of at the cusp of being too old. Right. Or, I mean, too young. Right. But not quite old enough. Yeah. So, it's hard. But, you know what? I... Let me tell what happened next. hmm They all said, nah. Yeah. They they chose against going to downtown or Old Sack. Yeah. Instead, they chose for us to drop them off at the Target. The Boba, yeah. Nearby. Yeah. It's about a 15-minute walk from Target home. Yeah. So they went to Target, they went to Boba, and then they were going to walk home by themselves. Yeah. And that's fine. And I felt like that was... Uh, that was... Within reason. Within reason. I was way less nervous. Yeah. It was the middle of the day. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's a, another uh, uh, thing that comes into play is if they went to Doko, if they went to Old Sack, it was going to be like 11 a.m.-ish. Uh, it, yeah. So, uh, like, I, I would never let them go around Old Sack at 9 p.m. Oh, or hell something. no. Yeah. Like, not even, like, late afternoon. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. But even so, morning time, I feel like downtown's a bit of a gamble. Yeah. Because you've still got, like... Do- Doko is nice, but uh, the seedy parts of <laughs> just around Doko uh, can drift into Doko. Definitely. Um, but I... I think at 10 a.m., 11 a.m., which is what we were targeting, it's a different story. And uh, if we were within reach, within reason, hovering about, um, I didn't think it was a big deal. Um, so uh, so uh, they came over and uh, darling daughter Luna Marie made me agree to not uh, prance around in a black tank top, which is my uniform, honey. You, I think you asked her, can I wear a tank top or will my hairy back be offensive? Right. And she said, well, <laughs> she said you lift. So the girls wouldn't know what to make of your musculature. Yeah, your physique is like, yeah. it's foreign. Yeah. Well, uh, like I couldn't see like uh, Isabel or Eleanor. They see me. And then they go home to their dads, and they'd be like, "Why don't you lift like Luna's stepdad?" Daddy, hmm. you don't look like Luna's stepdad. Yeah, you're not. You're not as cut as Luna's stepdad. <laughs> so, why, 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 why don't you lift? And why? But you, and why? Why isn't your back as hairy? <laughs> Maybe mommy should shave your back once every six weeks. I need an appointment, honey. By the way, all right, uh, make tomorrow it. I'm avail- I have openings right now. <laughs> tomorrow I need you to shave my back. <laughs> um, and then the other, so uh, I wore just a, a V-neck, a regular T-shirt, uh, which uh, I, I agreed to with darling daughter. <laughs> and the other agreement, <laughs> darling daughter made me do, is uh, oh well, okay. There's there was three, so no tank top. Uh, the second one was no potting. Oh yeah, she's very. We wanted to, okay, obviously no potting here in our dining room. Yeah. But then you and I were thinking like, oh, we could do a podcast in our bedroom with the door shut. Yeah. And we whisper. And we'd be on our bed whispering. Yeah. Yeah. And Luna was like, nope. Hey guys, we out here. Not even that. We out here potting. I get that. We said, okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. So no tank top, no potting. And then, uh, and this is going back to me, but uh, I couldn't. Uh, be in the living room at 3 a.m. eating Ritz crackers in my undies while tooting and watching uh, live performances of BTS doing Dynamite. That was, that was off Just the so table. everyone knows, that is your typical yes. 
Friday, no, I'm sorry, I guess Saturday, Saturday morning, 3 a.m., yeah. Saturday, 3 a.m. Yeah, sometimes it carries into Sunday morning at 3 oh, yeah. a.m. It you gets know, crazy, honey. You, like, letting go and making the most of your weekend is yeah. in the middle of the night while yeah. everyone's sleeping. You're in the living room, yeah. laying on the floor in your underwear, yeah. eating some snacks, yeah. and looking at videos on your laptop. Yeah. And BTS, okay, and I, don't, our, I don't watch adult uh, videos anymore. Right, right, right. It's YouTube. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Thank goodness. You're, right. you're a family man now. Right. Uh, but Luna catches you, like, in your underwear, watching your laptop, eating Ritz crackers, and... Uh, Tooting. She did not want that happening in front of her friends. Right. And so, it was. it's hard for me to give up that part of my life, honey. But I'm willing to. And, by the way, I always bring you... Uh, the summary of what I watched on YouTube on <laughs> Saturday slash Sunday morning. Are you morning. leaving anything out? No. <laughs> I Well, I mean, I, I, honey, sometimes I go into my YouTube history to be like, oh, yeah, I watched Henry Cavill. And talk sometimes, about- <laughs> yeah. sometimes I know because you put it on your uh, stories uh, right, on right. social media. Right. So I'm or like, I- oh, you watched this guy in his kitchen lifting, eating. Right. <laughs> That's true. Or I put it in our little group uh, family oh, text. Yeah. Our family text chat. Uh, yeah, but uh, just side note, I watched Henry Cavill talk about uh, his career, his various roles, and he pronounces mountain, mountain. Well, he's British, yeah? Right, yeah, yeah. British people do that. Yeah. To their credit. Mountain, not mountain. I think it's us Americans, because you know what? I was listening to uh, the country station on the mm-hmm. radio for whatever reason, country music, mm-hmm. and uh, the the... <laughs> Chorus repeated over and over, certain. It was like, certain, uh, yeah. certain. And I kept thinking, if this was a British person, they'd be like, certain. 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 So it's us Americans who are doing this atrocity of pronouncing certain. Dropping the T. Why we do that? Why we do that? Because we lazy. Lazy and fat. <laughs> uh, the next option uh, we gave Luna. So Luna has... She doesn't have a, a, a traditional bedroom. She's in our loft, which is on our third floor. And the loft is a loft. There's there's nothing going on besides... There's no door. There's no enclosed walls. Right. So we said, okay, Luna, you're going to have three friends over. You can hang out in your loft the whole time. Or you can have Lennox's room, which has four walls and a uh, door that you can close. Um, he does. He has bunk beds in there, but there's room. There's room to party, man. Uh, Or you can have the living room, uh, which is, we got the big TV, 70 inches, which we got for free (laughs) from Walmart. Are we going to tell that story sometime? Sure. Uh, No, I I can't. Okay. I don't remember. It was all on the up and up legal. Yeah, it was Walmart's bad. Um, But there's tons of room and there's a kitchen and there's a fireplace and... So you can and you can hang out on the couch and there's a big ottoman. So whatever you want, loft, living room, Lennox's room, whatever you want. And they ended up choosing uh, the living room, which was cool. Um, no worries, which meant we were in our bedroom uh, the majority of the time. Um, and uh, so we we so we're like, okay, we're gonna hang out in our bed in our bedroom and we're gonna drink a little. We're gonna. Have some uh, popsicles, pops, some, some adult spirits, <laughs> some adult spirits, some cocktails in our bedroom with um, the door closed. Yeah, with the door closed. Or see, because sometimes Frankie was in there with us. Oh, our, yeah, ca- yeah, yeah. our cat. The majority of the time he was. Yeah. So we we kind so we kind of got to keep it. If he needs to go poop. Yeah, he he would scratch and let us know. He goes. Scratching on the door. Yeah. And then so we let him out. The door would be shut, but it wouldn't be like closed. Right. Um, but uh, so uh, so <laughs> that and it, it was perfectly fine. So the four girls were out here in the living room, uh, watching TV and staring at their phones, and we were in our bedroom, which we don't really we sleep in there, obviously, but we don't watch the TV in there. Rarely. Uh, yeah. We watch like a movie every once in a while, but uh, majority of the time we're in the living room uh, because that's where, well, that's where we congregate. Um, and then, uh, okay, so uh, so food, snacks, we were like, 
We asked Luna, what, what do you want? Uh, do, do you need any junk food? Do you want to get pizza? And she was like, just buy candy. And we were like, well, there's <laughs> 900 options of candy at Walmart. But uh, you ended up getting some Kit Kats. I bought a, a huge bag of Kit Kats. I bought uh, two bags of Doritos nacho cheese. Yeah. And then I bought one bag of just um, tortilla chips. Yeah. And That's you bought it. some microwave popcorn. I bought microwave popcorn. Diet um, Pepsi. A bunch of eight ounce oh, Diet Pepsi. Yeah. There. Diet Pepsi. A 12 pack of Diet Pepsis. Yeah. Was that it? I think so. And they they were ready to go. And we got uh, sushi. Right. right their dinner. Came, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Their dinner was su- We ordered sushi. We bought sushi. them $70 in sushi. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So about $70 of sushi. You went and picked it up. That was really nice. Which we'll, which we'll review in the next pod, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and then we uh, they all sat down at our dining room table and they ate the sushi. And I sat with them. And then as soon as I sat down, I was like... I have killed the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it got really quiet when I sat down to eat with mm, <laughs> You're so not cool, honey. I'm not. I'm an old lady. <laughs> and then uh, we uh, took we cleaned before they got here. It was a big oh, deal. Yes. You cleaned the stove. I dusted. We cleaned a lot. Luna before. cleaned the bathroom. <laughs> um, again, it was a big deal to us. And you, like, even at your old place... Someone coming over, it was a good excuse. You love to just have put things in their place and yeah. clean. And yeah, you, you needed the impetus of someone coming over, but you 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 liked cleaning yeah. and putting everything yeah. in its proper uh, place for that person. And sometimes you need a little nudge or a kick in the butt um, to make things uh, beautiful, but... You, you you would appreciate that in, oh, yeah. in your old place. For and sure. I, I appreciate that here. Uh, and we're actually having cleaners <laughs> on Wednesday, right? I don't want to talk about that. Why not? <laughs> because it's so classist. What? <laughs> it's so privileged. No, it isn't. Let what? us know in the comments down below. What do you think of us hiring professional cleaners to come clean our home? Yeah. Our entire home. I'm hoping this becomes a once a year deal. Yeah. We've been, because we've been in this condo for 18 months ish. Yeah. Uh, I think it's fine. We've been cleaning it ourselves, obviously, for the last 18 months. But it's, I, it's quote unquote clean, but to the <laughs> deep clean. I want, yeah, exactly. Specifically our shower. <laughs> <laughs> Drives me crazy. I hate cleaning a shower. I'll clean anything before I clean it. I'll clean a toilet before I clean a shower. Really? Are you with me, guys? <laughs> no, I'd rather, I, I'd rather clean a toilet than well, a shower. Well, then why don't you? A shower is a lot more uh, uh, square <laughs> square footage. To- exactly. I'd rather clean a toilet. That's what I'm saying. That's why our shower is like the number one thing I would like these people to attack. Is that what I'm saying? I'd rather clean a toilet. Me too. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, we're on the okay, same page here. Okay. okay, so there's Things people- got confusing. <laughs> yeah, funny. So we don't have a cleaner come ever. Yeah. This is like a one-time thing. Yeah. I hired a company. They're coming mm-hmm. next week. Yeah. And like I said, once a year, I mean, ideally twice a year. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, th- their price was is $250? $240. For our 1,500-ish square foot condominium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a fantastic price. Because uh, when I lived in Citrus Heights, uh, my condo was 800 square feet. It, yeah. Eight or nine hundred, and it was like three hundred dollars. Yeah. Now, yeah. now uh, they were referred to me by our realtor, who I won't name here, and I'm sure she got a kickback. And <laughs> I, I just, I just wanted it done. I didn't negotiate. I didn't. Yeah. You, I didn't try to come back with a, a lower offer. You were trying to sell, so we were like, okay. Yeah. Sure. And they came in and they clean, cleaned. <laughs> There's not much square footage going on. Anyway, I, I swear they were there for more than an hour, less than two, and uh, it was three hundred dollars. And then I tipped them sixty because that's twenty percent of three hundred. So three hundred sixty dollars. It might have been three forty, but let's just say three sixty for the pod. So three hundred sixty dollars for less than two hours of work, and there wasn't much to clean. Uh, but yeah. Anyways. So the price that was quoted to me for our square footage, yeah. which is a lot more. Yeah. Was a lot less than yeah. what you paid. It wasn't. Um, a, it wasn't a lot less, but well, 
Well, it, in in terms of like <laughs> cleaning per square footage, we it, it's a very uh, when when you told me the price of two forty forty, I was like, that's that's a steal, dude. I thought and, you were gonna be like, no way. So right, I was right. Like, oh. I was expecting a couple hundred dollars more than that. Oh, and then, wow, wow. Yeah. And and then I was I was expecting up to eight hundred dollars. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Like well, it's double my previous condo and yeah. that was three hundred dollars. So six hundred dollars and oh, then plus okay. tip. I was like but anyways. Yeah, they quoted me two forty. Two forty and if I, I'm I'm assuming I'm just, I would say give them just a cool three hundred. Yeah, I'm gonna and, tip uh, them. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna give them a good tip. Yeah. Because I, I, don't, I, <laughs> I don't think it's privilege, honey. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Is it your West Sacramento privilege? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like, well, you know what? I have a couple of friends who have like clean, like they have a clean service, cleaning service that comes once a month. Really? And so I guess that is like, wow. That's a lot. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. But us having, like, this is so, like, this is. The first time I've done this, other yeah. than moving out of a place yeah. and hiring somebody. Yeah. So if we if we hire someone once a year, I guess that's okay. I think it's perfectly fine. <laughs> and it's, it's I again, I think it's a fantastic price. And are they going to do the atrium? Because the floor in the atrium no. drives me nuts. Oh. It's very dirty. Because our shoes were all dirty. Babe, I can, I can do that myself. They did... They sent me an initial quote and it had like what they do. And then I, I wrote them back and I said, okay, I don't want you doing our atrium. Our, mm. That's our first floor with like the landing and like the greeting area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I said, don't do that. Don't make any beds. That was in their, their list of what they do. Make beds. Okay. And take out trash. I said, don't take out any trash. What? Don't make any beds. And don't clean our entryway. Are those for the really, really rich people? Or like, oh, I guess. Be- like, like people who don't want to lift a finger to do anything. The, what is the TV show made up in here? Exactly. That's what I had in mind. I took out our that's trash this mind. morning. So I wrote them back. And that's when they came back to me with the... A 240 price mm. when I took out those three things. I, I so think, they're not doing the first floor, which is our entryway. I, I think you should add the first floor. No, entry. babe. Because that needs honey, to be like steam clean. No, it our, doesn't. Our nasty shoes are on No, there. it just needs to be like mopped. I can I can do that. I can swift or mop it. All right, darling. <laughs> okay, back to the sleepover. And that oop. Ladies and gentlemen, our next cast needs... Our next cat needs no introduction. Sir Franklin Belgenor, Ren- Belvenor Benjamin Willis Milano the Fourth. You can find him licking his no-no square in the living room. You can currently see him on his Netflix special staring out the window. The lovely, the talented. Was that him? Oh my goodness. That was an odd noise. You were squishing his head. Oh my gosh. That's podcast gold, Luna. Good job. And that oop. Okay, so what did the girls do? Uh, there was lots of dancing for TikTok. Uh, they went out to the park, which was a big deal. The park is super close to where we live. Um, but... We let them go for wow chows, uh, girls gallivanting about. Um, but you may, you were like, come home before dark. Yeah. And to be frank, to be honest, it was dark when they came home. It was, it gets dark about 4.30, but like really 5 p.m. is when it gets really dark. Yeah. And they got home closer to 5. Yeah. Which was fine. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, they went outside again. To film more content for TikTok. Um, but you made sure that they were just like within... We could see them from our windows. Right. Our second story windows. Um, and so uh, at one point they were dancing for TikTok. <laughs> uh, and I was viewing them from my window, from our window, <laughs> because I was like, oh, look at uh, our girls uh, doing little fun little dances for TikTok. And Luna saw me <laughs> viewing them from a window and she yelled, leave. And she like flicked me away with her hand. 
leave. Multiple times she shouted at you, leave. Leave. And I was like, I'm sorry. But it made me think of uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, our previous residence when it was much smaller uh, quarters. And uh, we, we it was essentially a two-bedroom, uh, one-bathroom apartment. And uh, we were all up in each other's grills. Uh, but... Uh, Luna Marie would want her Luna Marie time, her alone time, and she would just say, leave me be. <laughs> so I thought of that. <laughs> leave me be. But she was saying, go away, old man. Stop watching my friends uh, do these fun dances for TikTok. And no problem. I, I, I stopped viewing them. Um, so what did we do, honey? Uh, we stayed in our bedroom. We shuttered ourselves away in our bedroom, yes. and we watched in sync videos. Well, first of all, we started drinking uh, alcohol yeah. beverages because we're adults, uh, and then uh, we were like, "Well, what do we watch?" It's what it's what everyone in on the planet says. There's nine million <laughs> options on the internet to right. watch. So what should we watch? So we started. Watch, we went to Amazon Prime because we rarely go to Amazon Prime. We got Hulu. We got Amazon Prime. We got Netflix. Those are our three big ones that we do. Yeah. And you said, go to Amazon Prime. Look at the documentaries. So we went to Amazon Prime. Look, and this is the TV in our bedroom. Uh, we started scrolling through the documentaries on Amazon Prime. And hey, look, it's a uh, documentary on rare books. <laughs> and uh, you like books. I do. I'm okay with books. <laughs> You make me read a couple times a week. You make the family read. I do. It's called family reading time. But I, I, I figured there's some eccentrics uh, regarding books, and it's like uh, Pawn Stars or whatever, oh, yeah. uh, American Pickers, and this is the book aspect of that world. So I figured, okay, th this could be something. Um, and we, we both like uh, documentaries, but usually it involves murder <laughs> in, a, in small town, uh, rural America. But uh, we start watching this uh, documentary on rare books and specifically uh, like a convention in Conventions New York. Conventions and selling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was based in New York City. Yeah, and just the wacky eccentrics who go along with this world. And we we're about five minutes into it. Uh, and we were like, well, we're hungry. So we paused it and we came out and uh, we, we had this move where uh, we opened our door and... Luna Marie and her friends were in the living room doing our, whatever. For those who don't know, our bedroom door leads di directly. Yes. No hallway or nothing. Directly from our bedroom into our living room slash kitchen. Right. Our, so, our living area. Common right. area. Yeah. So the kids were hanging out right there outside our bedroom door. Yeah. So anytime we wanted to leave, we would crack it open like, can we come out? Luna, will you let us out of our, of our room? Can we, can we come out there? Do we have permission? We won't embarrass you. Um, so we come out. We're five minutes into this documentary, which eh, uh, it's okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> five, yeah. But five minutes in, we're like, we're hungry. We come out. We grab some snacks. We check in with the, the, the ladies, uh, Luna Marie's friends. And then we head back into our bedroom because that's where she, she sentenced us for the night. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Let's just let's start watching NSYNC videos. Uh, best decision of the night. Yeah. And, and so uh, our, our ritual, which we used to do a lot and then we kind of don't do anymore. Yeah, it, it ebbs and flows. Yeah. Our uh, NSYNC YouTube video yeah. watching. So we start watching NSYNC videos. And then we start yelling about how <laughs> J.C. Chazé got done wrong by Lou Pearlman. And J.T. is a star now. That's fine. Timberlake, he's he's his own man. But J.C. should also be a star. He deserved more. He deserved more. Uh, and, and so, uh, so well, how, how it... How it uh, shapes out is that we start watching and seeing videos. We start yelling about J.C. We start texting your cousin, Carrie Lewis, who is... a huge jc uh slash instinct fan uh and then and then we kind of we fork to 98 degrees and this, sometimes we go to backstreet boys videos this always ha we have such a routine yeah this, it's a pattern we always start with instinct yeah and then it always leads to either uh like boys to men boys to men uh 98 degrees lfo who's the guys who sing like I'll make love to you. Boys to Men. No, that's Boys to Men. <laughs> <laughs> no there's another group. 
whatever. Uh, LFO all for one. All for <laughs> one. All for one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or or Backstreet Boys, uh, and and then we go into this rabbit hole, and we start. We we just we get uh, animated. We get gregarious. We get in our feels. It's a good time, and we're texting your cousin Carrie Lewis. <laughs> it's such a fun time. It's 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 it, it can't be beat. Um, but we got again. We were we maybe had a couple uh, pops, uh, cervezas as, as as they say in Mexico. Um, but we, we got really loud, uh, and and uh, Luna Marie, <laughs> darling daughter, <laughs> who, who and her friends were six eight feet away from, and our door was closed but not shut because Frankie m- maybe needed to come in or out. Um, but we we got quite animated and loud, and Luna Marie uh, texted us, uh, "Can can you close the door?" <laughs> <laughs> And then she would like poke her head in and be like, "Can you guys quiet down? Because <laughs> we 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 get we get nuts for uh, justice for JC Shazay. Never mind uh, free Britney. What about justice for JC? Free JC. Can yeah. you blame us? No, okay. no. And and I maintain that JC's uh, poor hairstyle in the videos for the first album determined his path." <gasps> By the second album, no. by the second round of videos, JT with his cute little curls, he had taken off. And by the third, it was it was it was okay. done. Yeah, you know yeah. His curls were not always cute; they were sometimes offensive. What? Okay, Justin Timberlake with your ramen noodle hairstyle. Oh dear, we <laughs> out here, shots fired. But J- J- JC's hairstyle in the first album videos was just. He couldn't recover, and by second album videos, he was he was uh, oh. they they they'd done him right. He, he, Heck yeah, they he, did. He got in the makeup chair, and they they knew what they were doing, <laughs> but he couldn't recover. Um, mm. But uh, okay, now uh, we were loud. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> like we're loud right now. We are being loud, geriatric millennials. Yes, okay? yes, reliving our youth. Um, so uh, at some point, uh, the we we asked the girls. We, we threw at them. Okay, Doko Old Sac or Boba West Sac. West Sacramento local neighborhood. Yeah, and uh, I think it was Isabel who spearheaded this <laughs> charge. But but they 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 they, uh, they decided on um, West Sac. Yep, yeah, they're gonna shop local. Yeah. And so, if they had gone to Doko or um, Old Sack, we were gonna do. We were gonna like go with them, hang out, but we were gonna do a picture, me and you. Yeah. Uh, but when they decided Boba and West Sack, we're like, okay, so we're not gonna do a picture, so we can be off track. And when we say off track, we mean uh, eat and drink whatever you want. Reckless abandon. <laughs> right. We were already drinking whatever we want, but. Uh, it turned out we were like, okay, well, we're not going to do a couple's picture or a family picture uh, tomorrow. So let, let's, 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 let's live. Let's start eating. Um, so uh, all hell went out the window, honey. Is that what they say? All caution went out the window. Reckless abandon. Uh, the lawless, borderless tribal region uh, became in our condominium. But you made a uh, uh, frozen dish in the microwave. Did you hear my take on microwaves earlier, honey? It was good stuff. Uh, it, it was like a pesto lasagna? It was a pesto chicken lasagna, which okay. I got at... Where the heck did I buy that? I don't know. Target? Eh. Walmart? Yeah. Yeah. I cooked it. Yeah. And you, because perhaps your uh, inhibitions were... Yes. Altered by the drink. Yes. You let me eat the pesto chicken lasagna in our bed. Yes. You never let me eat in bed. Yes. And you let me eat that. Because it's animalistic like <laughs> behavior, honey. <laughs> and uh, oop. Okay. So you ate a microwave dish in bed. Yeah. And and just a, a, a glimpse on life before you met me yes. on your before marriage. You used to eat. Like uh, bowls of soup, hot soup in bed. I would at, do at it, our old plate. I would do plate. anything and everything in my bed. Yeah, in my old bedroom. 
Because when I was a single gal. And and back to the two bedroom, uh, one bathroom, and a, a small apartment. Um, there wasn't a lot of room to just hang, and there wasn't like we spent the majority of time in your bedroom. My slash bedroom, our bedroom, my old bedroom, yeah, where I lived, and then where you moved in for our first year of marriage. Mm-hmm. That was the hangout. Yeah, the TV was there. Yeah, there was a giant king size bed. We all we would all climb on it and lay on it. Yeah. It was cozy. Yeah. Um, that was the spot. Yeah. Uh, like we we spent far less time in the dining room or the living room. Yeah, dining room was very tight, very small. Yeah. Living room you guys had a TV but it was like a 19-inch <laughs> TV. It was very small. And it was just and, like my room was just so cozy and yeah. we had space for everybody. So I yeah. Did, I did like your bed. Um but you would eat uh we would get Chinese or whatever and you would eat a large bowl of hot and sour soup or wonton soup or whatever in bed and i used to just marvel at you like wow i would eat whatever the hell i wanted to yeah. eat in my bed yeah and so uh this night when we were uh, having uh <laughs> many spirits uh caution was thrown to the wind uh you ate in bed um Luna Marie was eating chocolate on the couch. Oh, Lord. She was eating Kit Kats. Oh, her and her friends were eating bags of popcorn yeah, on the couch. on the couch. And I looked at her and I said, Luna, just be careful. Um, and so it was It was a free-for-all. We, we it went, was a literal free-for-all. We went nuts. Um, but again, it was just, we were, we were living in the moment, man. And uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that what Liz Fisher likes, or excuse me? I'm not sure. I'm sorry, Liz Fisher. Excuse me. Excuse me. I apologize. Apologize, Liz Fisher. Uh, But you were eating in bed. Luna was eating on the couch, which is forbidden. We we eat sometimes on the couch, but it's like very rarely. But it's like crackers. It's never like hot buttered popcorn. Nothing liquidy. Yeah. Um. Uh. So I, I I saw Luna with the Kit Kats, <laughs> and I was like, just just be careful, girl. Um, ended up uh, obviously they were on their phones a lot, um, consuming mm. TikTok, making TikTok, whatever. But uh, they got into a Leo Di- Leonardo DiCaprio uh, vibe, and uh, so you they, know what? Yeah, I didn't realize. Do you people out there realize that the youth of today? Are so into Leo DiCaprio, yeah, but not current like fifty year old. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're into like the youthful Leo DiCaprio, which hello, so was I. Yeah, at that age, <laughs> who wasn't girl? Um, but uh, at one point, well, they watched the old old uh, Romeo and Juliet with they Claire started, Danes. They started with Romeo and Juliet, Claire yeah. Danes, Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, and at one point, I came out uh, from our bedroom because Luna allowed me to. <laughs> to leave our jail cell of a bedroom and they were watching titanic i don't I don't think they watched the entire thing i think they did she oh told really me the next morning wow they watched all of romeo and juliet and then they watched all of titanic wow so something they went to bed at like 4 a.m yeah no well hold, hold on hold on but oh, uh, sorry. I, I would suggest watching <laughs> now if, if you talk about peak leo we talk about peak bieber the the girlfriend video <laughs> Peak no. Le- to me, <laughs> what, what, his date with Selena at the Oscars or whatever was that peak Bieber. <laughs> Anyways, peak Leo. Well, what, what would you say is peak Leo, honey? Because I, I know I, I have a movie in mind. A Titanic. Okay. What's yours? Great Gatsby. Oh wow! Yeah. Um. He's had many peaks, I guess. Or he's <laughs> peaked for twenty-ish years. Uh. Can I? T- the girls were out here watching um, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. You were asleep by that point. Yeah. And I came out here and I was like, I'm going to sit out here and watch this movie. What's up, girls? We out here, fam. <laughs> I was like 17 when I watched this movie. Yeah. So I was a cool teenager. Okay. Yeah. Word. So obviously I connect. I can connect with these 13 year olds. Sure. As of today. Right. So I watched it for like 20 minutes and I. I said such embarrassing things like, Leo is so hot. Me and my friends used to love Leonardo DiCaprio. 
and then cringe. I, and then they the girls it was they had the captions on. Yeah. Um, because it's like the Shakespeare dialogue. Yeah. So they had the captions on, and they were like laughing because a lot of the dialogue is funny. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It is ridiculous. Yeah. But I was like, oh, you don't watch it for that. You just watch it because Leo's hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're just so trying was, to relive your youth, honey. I was. I was trying to like be cool, and then after like 15 or 20 minutes, I was like. They don't want me here. <laughs> I don't belong out here. Yeah. So I like hung my head and climbed back. I like walked back into our room. Walk of shame. Exactly. I came out uh, during Roma, Romeo and Juliet also and I watched it. I mean, I didn't make a scene like you, honey. I, I didn't embarrass myself. Uh, but I was just looking, watching the TV for 30 seconds or whatever. And I, I was like, this dialogue is... I didn't say this out loud because... <laughs> Because I don't want to be uncool to a, a bunch of 12-year-olds and 30-year-old girls. But I just thought, this is dumb. Or it's just, it's not for the masses. It's very um, yeah. targeted. It's very, uh, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's, I, I, I just really, it was just silly. I me. really appreciate the Boz Lerman. Yeah. Your manager. I, I right. love what he did. I right. love that he oh, yeah. had to modernize it and he yeah. like kept the same dialogue. Yeah, I love that. I appreciate it, but yeah. it's it's hard to take in and watch. Yeah, it's very artistic, and it, yeah, it, it's it's not consumable for the for the layman. And uh, after whatever thirty seconds, I was like, all right, whatever. I mean, <laughs> whenever it came out, ninety six. Uh, I, I believe that's right. Yeah, it was it was a different time. Um, uh, so Len stayed in his room. He avoided the girls. And then he w- very strategically avoided them. Yeah. Like, they just so happened to be outside every time he came out yeah. to get something to eat or to go to the bathroom or talk to us. Yeah. And when they did the boba thing, he came out. He <laughs> emerged. And uh, we, were, we were just sitting there snacking on whatever, on Crustables. And I was like, are you purposely avoiding the girls? And he said, yeah. <laughs> and I said, have you have you seen them for, for what, 30 seconds or something? A, a minute? And he said... Yeah, <laughs> so I he saw them at some point, uh, but yeah, he he stayed in his in his room. Um, our cat Frankie loved the attention of specifically Eleanor and uh, Isabel. Isabel. As well. Yeah, so we we had a theory, a hypothesis um, that Frankie was racist <laughs> because he gravitated towards your parents and you, and not towards me. Half Vietnamese and to our wow chows or half uh, Mexicano. Uh, but it turns out, uh, well, Eleanor is a white gal, uh, but Isabel is Hispanic. Yeah. 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 So maybe Frankie ain't a racist. Um, <laughs> and uh, just a side note here uh, one of Luna's friends admitted to being non vaxxed. Okay. Oh, she's half vaxxed. Right, right. She's not fully vaxxed yet. I, yeah. Yeah. And I almost I almost made her quarantine <laughs> in our garage for two weeks until she could come back up and hang out with us. We almost enforced everyone to wear masks. Yeah. Social distance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like uh, Grace's baptism at the church was about 20% masked and... And people were singing in the church, honey. And I almost called Gavin Newsom to report you. Do you have Gavin Newsom's personal line? I do. I slide into his DMs and I say, <laughs> people are singing unmasked in a church. Come bring the bobo. Um, I came out at about 4 a.m., 4.30 to drink or snack or whatever um and the girls were still up oh my god <laughs> still watching leo no no at that, that at that point they had migrated to dance moms uh <laughs> but and i said i just looked at four of them and i blankly i stated have any of you guys slept yet and then isabel <laughs> piped up and said i passed out for about a half hour and i said good girl way to go uh but and then, and then they kind of knocked out between 4 and 6 a.m. Um, but later that morning, we rousted them, sort of. Uh, we, we, we needed to live because we can't stay in our bedroom for 24-7. Uh, but you started whipping up Egg McMuffins, honey. Or, or just yeah. the non-McDonald's Egg McMuffins. Coos McMuffins. Coos McMuffins in our kitchen, which were 
fabulous. Uh, they ended up, uh, they did get the boba. We dropped them off. And uh, <laughs> Olivia's parents got here. Uh, and they, Luna and Olivia had to run. Yeah, the girls ran here because uh, the parents got here first. Yeah. And then the girls were a little bit late. So yeah. they had to run home from Target. Yeah. But all in all, I'd say it was a fabulous uh, excursion <laughs> into our home. <laughs> and was. we we asked Luna, uh, did your friends, were we embarrassing? Because we were loud about we were loud, in sync. Right. And then specifically, we were... when I was out here watching the movie with them, I was like, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, I'm such a dork. Yeah. I'm out here trying to, like, talk about my youth from the 2000s, which yeah. is ancient to them. Yeah. And, but she assured us that, no, you were fine. Yeah. And they think, they like us. They think we're cool. I think and... her friends like us more than she likes us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and like... Oh! Say what now? <laughs> she said no? Luna said no. To what statement? <laughs> to her friends liking her us more than she does. Oh, okay. So she's going on the record as liking <laughs> the same or more than your friends. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. We um, love you, girl. Yeah, uh, but I, uh, I, I think we, I think we're cool. We think we're so cool. We think we're tremendously cool. Well, I know you're hot. I yeah. mean, I'm hot. Yeah. You're funny. I'm funny. Yeah. We're we're out there, <laughs> and. Uh, like we've been not not specifically their their new school but their old school, uh, we would go to events held in right. the auditorium, and I would look around at the parents and be like, "Wow, this is quite the scene." Like these parents, well, they don't care, <laughs> and they let themselves go. We spent a lot of time. We spent a lot of time at events at their the kids' old school, mm -hmm. which is where this group of core friends comes from. Yes. The new school, the new friends, we haven't been around any of the parents. We have no idea. Yeah. So it's harder to, like, judge where do we fit in. Yeah. How cool are we? How hot are we? But you know what I do is I compare uh, myself, and I realize I'm biased, <laughs> but myself to uh, my parents when I was Luna's age and just just overall, like, right, even right now, because we're, we're all kind of on the same wave wavelength kind of the same level as uh like the, my parents are very similar to what they were 20 years ago i'm similar to what i was whatever 10 years ago i mean i've been a parent for three years now uh but uh i would i would as uh 16 year old vince i would look at <laughs> what am i 44 yeah. uh, like a 44 year old vince i'd be like that's cool yeah like, yeah you know what I'm thinking of myself, and my parents were awesome, and they were fantastic. Mm -hmm. Great parents. Mm -hmm. But I had a couple of friends who had, like, they had the cool parents, okay? Yeah. yeah. And I'm thinking of all, I'm thinking of how they were and mm -hmm. how you and I are. Mm -hmm. And we are more like those parents were. I'm thinking mm -hmm. of a couple of people I knew. Yeah, me too. And you too. and I are more in line with those people. Yeah. And so I'm like, I loved the, I loved those people, those parents. I loved them. Yeah. And so I think if I was Luna's friend, I yeah. would love us yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. So right now, right now I'm thinking, listen, I love my parents to death. Um, but beauty, uh, like I, I'm thinking of, uh, like Ryan, my friend Ryan Flynn's parents who were like, I just thought they were cool and different. And maybe it's, to the thing where we've talked about, um, as a kid, you just, you like anything that isn't, that's just different from yeah. your home because your home is every single day. And yeah. we, we, we tell them teeth and jammies and, uh, Lennox, uh, stop jumping on there's, the ottoman. <laughs> <laughs> there's rules, there's yes. structure. Yes. So if you go to your friend's house, there isn't that for you. It's less so. And yeah. then on top of that, you have these parents who are like, fun and they're trying to joke and relate with you yeah. and they're just like kind of laid back yeah i think and i hope that that's the vibe that we give off yeah and but we don't like go too far like we're not like do whatever you want we're not like the mom we're not like regina's regina george in um mean, mean girls? girls remember her mom was like yeah. do you remember her mom yeah yeah she's like 
I don't care if you drink, just do it here in front of me. No, we're not like that. <laughs> we're not like that yet, honey. Ah! Just kidding. Yeah, so you know, we're not like Regina George's mom. Yeah. But we're like a happy medium. Yeah. Do you see yourself when Luna is 21 and when Lennox is 21 going to a bar with them or having a drink with them at yeah. home? Yeah, I do. Me too. Yeah, totally. I do. Yeah. Yeah. You've never had a drink with your parents. I <laughs> My parents don't drink, so right, right. No, no, no. Right, right. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, me, I have I had a drink what with What about party? at your stepbrother's wedding reception? Do you, or wedding, do you recall that? I can't. Have I told you about that? Yeah, you've told me about <laughs> that. Because I just sprung into my mind. I'm like, you, you don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, but you babe, do know about that? I do. In Colorado? It was, it, it was in right? Denver, right, right? Yeah, Denver. We went to a, a few, well, we did the whole, like, Bachelor party, bar hopping thing, and uh, maybe there was a strip club involved, honey. With Grandpa Curtis? Yeah, dude. Ah! Yeah, dude. Um, but yeah, I've, I'm, but it was it was very laid back and scaled down. Um, yeah, but Grandpa Curtis, he drinks, but he drinks at home. Right. He's not like a bar dude. But when you go home to San Diego, you yeah. don't drink with him. I don't. Hmm. No. I, I've drank there, and I'm. I I think he. Nah. I think he he likes. He's very specific with his drinking. Like it's at night, after work, and he uh, pours it into <laughs> the mug that I can picture a bit, a giant plastic mug. Anyways, um, <laughs> but I I've drank at my parents, but I've never like drank with Grandpa Curtis for whatever reason. Anyways, uh. Is that the end, honey? <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know. Uh, this well, is a, it's a very meandering, yeah. thoughtful, introspective pod. Indeed. Um, but I, I thought the sleepover was fun. So fun. And uh, I hope to do it again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope we're cool enough, Luna, for you to invite your new friends uh, over to, uh, to our condominium. Um, but, well, mostly... And, Again, I think this is like the perspective of uh, when you grow up. When I grew up, I was like, I, I, I would, I did anything to get out out of my house. Like I would go to Janelle Pentecostes's house or Chuck Johnson's house or Arnold Gonzalez's house um, because I just thought my house was boring and my parents were well, they're they're straight edge for the most part, um, but. Uh, I hope that Luna it is on like the Arnold Gonzalez vibe or or the Chuck Johnson vibe. We're uh, going there and like hanging out with their parents and kind of just shooting the shit and bullshitting. It was, it was chill. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope we can be those kinds of parents for them. But you know what? If we want to be on that level, we've got to get a new PS5. Oh, dear. Well, you know, the uh, supply chain shortage, honey. Yeah. That all the PS5s are <laughs> off the coast. We got to get uh, the PS5. Of Long Beach. Uh, I, I've actually, yeah, I've, I've I've been thinking about that, too. Well, Lennox was like, recently he said, you told me a year ago we're going to get PS5. And I was like, I know. We still can't get one. Supply chain shortage. <laughs> Lennox Albert. Joe Biden. Okay. This is Kamala's administration. Um. Yeah, but see, well, uh, on on a side note, gaming, like, does Lennox, I, I mean, I know he plays Minecraft on the Xbox 360, but how much? And if we had a console, how much? Because most of what they do is on their phone for you know, gaming. How cool of a parent do you want to be? Hmm? Super cool. All right, then. Super duper cool. All righty. That's the end of the program. It's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, review, and rate. Or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown-up. Make your own decisions. Do what's best for your family. Please be sure to use our promo code for Masterclass. We don't have a promo code for Masterclass. Do you know that? No. <laughs> it's it's like uh, Bob Iger who ran Disney for yeah, yeah, yeah. a decade or whatever. Or uh, Ron Howard and... They're 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 talking about their career and their inspiration and their and, and their and their craft. 
Okay. And and you're supposed to get inspired by that and become the next Ron Howard and become the next Bob Iger. It's like a TED talk, but it's more intimate and personal. They're just talking. Um, but anyways, my, my opinion is that it's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> and if you watch Bob Iger, who ran Disney slash Marvel slash ABC slash uh, 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 ESPN, uh, you're, you're not going to become the next Bob Iger. Okay, that's that's my opinion. And you're not going to be the next Ron Howard because he Ron Howard was in movies and and. And just the show business, the entertainment industry, since he was a kid. Yeah. From uh, Happy Days or Opie. whatever. Opie. The Andy Richter. Andy something. Andy Richter was Conan O'Brien's Andy... sidekick. Andy. Griffin. I'm, I was just, yes. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Our promo code for Masterclass. <laughs> Goodbye. I love uh... you. We love you. We hope you have a good day today and tomorrow. And sure, I may have admitted to eating Ritz crackers in my underwear in the living room at 3 a.m. while I toot, but I'm still a good person and we're still good people. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day slash night. A oh, bye bye. And a uh, oop. Ooh. Is that chicken? Is that crispy juicy tender?